everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video and welcome to a haul um i did a little bit of damage during the january sales and i thought i would share them with you basically um so i've got things from hobbycraft timu georgia asda and sainsbury's um so yeah let's get straight into the video i don't know if i can remember the prices of everything so I'm not sure if I'll be able to put them on screen until I come to edit it, so you'll know by now whether I do. Um, but starting off with Hobbycraft, the first thing I picked up was these hanging fillable decorations. I if I can get one out of the box to show you. They come in a pack of four, um, and it obviously comes as two halves. You pop what you want in there and then you can put it together and obviously string it up and put it on the tree. And I thought these would make really nice gifts actually for next year, um, with a little keepsake of baby girls in there. So yeah, I thought I would pick those up. And then also the only other thing from Hobby Box is actually like class as a gift box. I'm just gonna take the ending bit off if I can. Um, but it says Christmas Eve box on it and it's just like a basic like cardboard box I've got quite a few of these already um, in different designs and yeah that's just literally the inside so not too big not too small um, but I know Christmas Eve boxes are a big thing and I know people go out and get like personalised ones and whilst I would love to at the same time I just kind of feel like it's a waste at the minute I might make my own personalised one um, so I've got like a wood burner and stuff so I might make one like maybe next year or something but I just thought for now you know she's still going to be little she's not going to know what Christmas is so I just thought a little cardboard box if it breaks it breaks that's fine I can just put in there like a couple of books and some like little cute pyjamas maybe like the outfit for Christmas day things like that um, so it will still look nice and I can still take a photo of like a Christmas Eve box with her on her first Christmas and things like that but without spending too much money when she's not really gonna know what the hell is going on. On to Georgia Asda and I've been buying for the future <laughs> is all I can say. So I picked up, these are in 9 to 12 months but I picked up how cute are these? It was a pack of three leggings so they've got like a nice sagey green colour and like a creamy colour and then the like beautiful baby pink colour as well um, and they're like little frilly on the end but just these cute leggings as I say I picked them up in 9 to 12 months so that her wardrobe will start filling up a little bit over the months um, and yeah I've just been picking bits up as I saw them in the sale and I just couldn't resist those I thought they were so so cute I also picked up um, a coverall, take sleeves off, there we go, um, that just looks like that and it says have a chirpy little Christmas on it, how cute is that? And I thought even if it is a bit big for her to start with I can just like roll the sleeves or whatnot and it'll be absolutely perfect for her, um, yeah for like Christmas day and like the days leading up to it and after it etc. I just thought why not when I saw it in the sale and then the other thing I saw in the sale as well was a pack of two pairs of tights these are in six to twelve months and they've got a reindeer and a Christmas put on how cute so adorable um, so yeah I just thought why not <laughs> then on to Timu and there's nothing Christmassy about Timu but again the first thing I picked up was something for the future and that is a little cute patch that says talk to me goose on it. I don't know how well that's showing up because of the plastic but I want to kind of keep it in the plastic for now. Um, but obviously it's in relation to Top Gun and me and Ash had already said that you can get like an Ash, you can get little um, either pink or green depending on what colour you want flying like little jackets. Obviously you can get like the red arrow suits as well um, which I'm sure somebody will get her at some point um but i quite fancy getting her one of the little jackets at some point maybe when she's like two or three so i kind of like prematurely bought this so that we can stick it like on the arm you know 
I bought Ash, I say a little present, it's not really a little present, um, but I bought him one of those like wrap and paper cutter things. It's only a cheap one from Timu, I don't know how well it would work. I looked at one in a garden centre and they wanted a tenner for it, so I thought well, we'll try it with a cheap one, if not you can just go back to scissors. And let's face it, next year or like later this year, it will probably be me wrapping the presents because I think he did quite a good job this year, but I think he'll probably throw his toys out of the pram should I make him do it for a second year running. <laughs> and then I also picked up, this is like a um, mould with a lid on, obviously for like either ice cubes or technically you could use it probably for candle making, that kind of thing. Um, but they're just like little hexagon shapes. And what I actually bought these for is I saw on, I think it was Instagram Reels or TikTok, one or the other, a lot of people... Um, especially new mums and stuff, talking about putting little bits of breast milk in the pots and freezing them um, so that then they can put them in the bath, which helps with like skin issues and things like that for like little babies. So I thought I would get one just in case I'm able to do that. You never know. Um, but if not, then I'll use it for ice cubes or something of that nature. And then I literally just picked up a couple cute little clothing bits for baby girl I can't remember what sizes I picked up though this one's three to six months although it looks very very big um but it just says my big sister has paws like how cute so I couldn't resist that one because obviously Trix is still a part of my a huge part of my life as ever and then the other one which is in three months but this somehow looks smaller Says, and then there were four and it's got the two hearts, the paw print and then the little baby feet as well. Um, which yeah, I absolutely adore. And then on to Sainsbury's. They had some really good deals in the sale actually. Um, but unfortunately a lot of it wasn't in sizes that I wanted. But I did pick up two things for me. Um, the first is, oh I don't think, the two things for me are both from Mamalicious actually. Um, and this is a two functions top similar to the green one that I've worn and the black one that I wore which I think I showed in a haul or a vlog I bought them from New Look anyway in the sale um, because I wanted some like nursing type um, things I don't know if this is going to be too big I might have to like you know put in a few poppers or something I'm not sure but the first thing I picked up was this like leopardy print type long sleeve top obviously very open for when I need it um but yeah I just thought that'd be perfect I can just put it on my jeans or leggings or anything and I felt like I needed something like this because I kind of don't want to restrict myself being like I can't go out because I've got a top that like I can't do nothing with and at the same time I don't want to have to sit in a toilet cubicle because why should I you know Apologies about all the birds if you can hear them. They've decided to like sit on the skylight bit, which is always fun. Um, so that was the first one that I picked up. And the second one, which is not normally my type of style, I will admit. Um, again, I picked both, I don't know if I mentioned, but I picked both up in an extra large because I just don't know what size I'm going to be. And I don't know what size my boobs are going to be because right now they're massive. And I know they're going to get bigger, but will they get smaller? Like, eventually? I just don't know. Um, it's going to be difficult to show you this one, to be fair. But I will try my best. But it is this cream dress. Just like that. There. And it's a bit frilly at the bottom. It's the frill bit at the bottom that would I would not normally go for. Um, but it has got the buttons down the front. So I just thought this would be perfect to wear on a day out and I can still feed baby girl should I need to or want to um, I have got a pump as well so hopefully do bottles so that then I can pass that responsibility for 10 minutes on to somebody else like Ash or something should I need to just to get a little bit of a break um, but yeah I just felt like I needed especially that dress in mind I thought for the air shows we are still doing air shows this year um, we've already booked some I've booked like to stay at two which is going to be a very different experience having a baby with us 
um, but I'm kind of looking forward to it at the same time, although it is going to definitely be a challenge. Um, but yeah, more on that later in the year when I can reveal more about what's happening. Um, but yeah, for air shows, I just thought like a dress like that would be perfect. I could just unbutton it, be discreet. It doesn't matter. I've also got that shawl thing that I bought, which I showed you in Vlogmas from Boohoo. So between the two, like, I feel like I'm going to be all right. Um, and then also from Sainsbury's, because I can't resist picking up things for baby girl. Um, it always used to be I couldn't resist picking up things for tricks, but now she's not really into things anymore. She likes to sleep a lot. Now she's a little old lady, um, which is fine. But so now I keep picking things up for baby girl, but I'm really like conscious of how much I spend. So a lot of it is when I see it in the sale, I won't necessarily buy full price for it. I'll either buy second hand or in the sale. Um, but I picked up some more socks because I felt like she could probably do with some more in her collection, but they look really big on the feet. I know like babies do tend to have quite big feet in comparison to the rest of their body, but they do look really big. Um, they are not six months, so they should last a quite a while. There's four pairs in there, mainly pinks. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd pick those up. And then I also picked up, these are in six to nine months, so I'm hoping she'll be in this size for the summer. <laughs> if not, I'll put them to one side for future children or for friends that have babies that might be of that size like they'll still get used in some way shape or form um but it's a pack of two cute little shorts how cute are those um we've already said that we're gonna in the summer go to Bournemouth Beach for the day even if the air show's not on because obviously that's up in the air at the minute but yeah how cute are those so I thought that would be perfect just so that we can like sit in the sand and play and all that jazz. It'll probably last all of 10 minutes and then she'll want to get off the beach, but we'll just roll with it. <laughs> and then get ready for cuteness overload on the last two items. The first is these little booties. These are not three months. How cute are these? I just couldn't resist. I had to pick them up. They were £6. They weren't in the sale. They are part of their new range. Um, but yeah, they're just so so cute I could not pick them up I haven't really gone for many booties because a lot of the outfits that baby girl has got has already got feet on them and obviously I've got socks if not um I did pick up a pair of booties from the car boots there which you might have seen in my haul that I did of that um but yeah when I saw these I was just like nah I've got to have them um and it's this type of thing that I'm hoping will fit in the bauble something like that like either those or like a little sock or something like that um, because yeah, I mean these would look really cute hanging on the tree in years to come. So I picked up that and then the last thing, which was actually the first thing that inspired me to make the Sainsbury's order. This is in the size not to 3, it was the only size they had when I placed my order. Um, how cute <laughs> is that? Um, it's just this pink shacket type of thing. And inside it's nice and fleecy so that baby girl will be lovely and warm. So yeah, I can't wait to put her in that because she's going to look adorable. Um, and I want one myself. I've seen a couple on Sheen. I thought I'd go for a different colour so we're not too matchy-matchy. Um, I'd rather go for like a beigey kind of colour for me probably. Um, but yeah, this is so, so cute. And that is everything that I picked up. So far in the January sales, I say so far, um, I have also got a pound shop online haul coming your way and I've also got, what else have I got? A vintage collective haul because I've done a lot of spending on vintage recently. Um, so I've got those coming your way as well. I think there's something else. Oh and I've got a Matalan haul as well, a little mini Matalan haul coming your way. Um, and there's only a few items in that so I don't know if I'll add it to something else maybe and do like one big haul but make sure you have subscribed if that is the kind of thing that you like because yeah I've got a real mixture of stuff coming your way but thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon bye bye